Today on E2, a wedding, a brawl, and music to the rescue, Instant Star returns with a brand new season. Jude is a superhero on this show, and uh, I get to save the day with song. Then Dragonette get around on the decks of one of Toronto's newest hotspots. We haven't made any actual noise yet, but I imagine it's going to result in sweet magic. Plus, Montreal comic Jean Lejoie gets some virtual love thanks to funnyordie.com. Just a regular, everyday, normal guy. And my sexual performances are average. Get ready for it. This is E2. Hey guys, I'm Anna Saison. Welcome to the show. Today, Martina Sorbaro went from being a folk solo act to the front woman of new wave pop band Dragonette. Today, she's going to show off her talents behind the turntables. Then, after making low-budget music videos in his basement, Montreal comedian Jean Lejoie is getting some serious attention from his biggest fan, Will Ferrell. But first, as Instant Star gets underway in its fourth and final season, we caught up with the show's cast, Alex, Tim, and Laura, to make sure the series goes out with a bang. Definitely expect some drama this season. Season three of Instant Star left their leads in love, but a rock star lifestyle is never that simple. You're leaving. I want you to come with me. I want all of you with me forever. Jude, I love you. MTV wants to do a newlywed show about me with you. You're kidding me. They're talking furnished mansion. Sponsored paid real wedding. 24 hour camera coverage. It's like publicity jackpot. I love that about this show though, because it really follows what's happening in the industry, you know? Like, it's just bang on. For the season premiere of your new reality show, the network wants to see you and Speed renew your vow somewhere rock star worthy. I'm here on the set of Instant Star, season four. I'm here with one of the, the season uh, series leads, Corey Lee, who plays Karma. Corey, how is season four going? It's going really well. We just started filming and it's, we're here at our wedding. Okay. about to get married. I was probably in hair and makeup for about two hours. Yeah, and we're gonna go soft core. So look out everybody. Look out. What is soft core? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> soft core it's sort of like um, it's like heavy metal, but um, with pianos and violins. So soft core. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> Save it for the cameras, newlyweds. All 16 of them. We have some really cute moments, definitely, in the first two episodes, because the whole house that we live in is like, there's cameras everywhere, and there's only one little place where the cameras aren't. Uh, it's like a paradise, but um, sometimes a wave of destruction comes to take us down a notch. I'm saying in this day and age, I think personally it's hard enough to have a relationship, but maybe that's just me. So I think having a relationship underneath the uh, public eye would just be, it's too much pressure. You know what I mean? Too much pressure to do everything that everyone else expects of you, let alone your partner or the person you're supposed to be with. So I think it takes away from what a relationship is supposed to be or marriage is supposed to be, which is a personal bond between two people. Jude's in love. Jude's doing her own thing. and She just wants everyone else to be happy. Honestly, Quincy, what could you possibly do after three years to mess this up? Little Tommy Q, I barely recognized you without your cornrows. Cassandra Hayward, you dirty dog. What are you doing here? All famous people being married, and how long will it last? Mm. I'll give you a little hint. Uh, um, you know, House of Cards. Oh, mate. How are you doing? The whole Jude Tommy thing. Bye. Thanks. All right. He's a bit of a burnt-out rock star and uh, plays sort of a bit of a mentor to the other characters. Currently, I think the number's up to six wives that Pagan Smith has had and uh, copious amounts of uh, 
girlfriends in between. So will his younger counterparts have a better shot at surviving love in the fast lane? I don't know. That's well, exciting. I hope we feel that pressure at some point. I hope we're together forever. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I think speed is a little too crazy for her, but we'll see how things turn out. I don't know if this is the best move. You know, it's kind of soon, which it is kind of soon, and it's pretty soon. I think Speederman's like 19 in the show. <laughs> Maybe there's too much pressure on it, you know? I mean, it's hard enough being newlyweds and then to have to do it in front of everybody. I mean, there's a curse. They're a cute, fun couple. I hope they're not just getting married for the reality show in itself for the publicity, but you don't know. Oh, Karma wants the wedding on the show. Oh, she's all about publicity. There's a lot of energy of people projecting that you want to to see you fail, to see the car wreck of your marriage, you know? Because that's really what makes the ratings. If you have a car wreck marriage, <laughs> the better the show. She wants her to be happy, just like she wants to be happy herself, which she is with Quest this season. It's going good, we're getting closer. Actually, this season, he moves in with the Harrison sisters. Karma lies about her family, definitely, and lies about her upbringing. My name's really not Karma. <laughs> your name's really not Karma? <laughs> Luckily, someone talked her out of dogma. <laughs> so. What's her given name? Oh, ha, look at the time speed. Don't we have stuff to do? Jennifer. Punch? I have no real friends. So the show hires me fake friends. <laughs> and so my fake friends throw me a stag at. And hopefully karma and speed will last, but who knows, right? Karma, marriage is through thick and thin. <sighs> Today was pretty thick. If the reality wedding's not their style, how would these hot young cast members do it up in real life? Maybe a circus wedding or something like that, but maybe more diamonds and things like that. It's gotta be a hip hop wedding. Like my wife, she'd be able to, be able to break dance, you know? Very important, freestyle, she'd be able to you know, rhyme off the top of her head. Well, probably just cash and a rock concert. Probably not as much glitter. I like the good old fashion beach wedding. No shoes, no socks, a couple of friends. Maybe uh, maybe like what we're doing on stage. Me and piano and her singing, we serenade each other, and that's how we do our vows. You and I go deeper. And you gotta tune in, you gotta watch Instant Star on CTV. The fourth and final season of Instant Star premieres this Sunday on CTV, so make sure you don't miss it. Now let's get the goods on the biggest names in Hollywood. Here's your e news. OK and People magazines are in a bidding war over the first Brangelina twin picks. The cost for the latest spawn of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, who may or may not already be born, has reportedly hit the $15 million mark. It could go higher because neither mag looks ready to blink just yet. People magazine has announced that Kevin Federline will be given the Father of the Year award this Father's Day, which might come as a surprise, except for two things. One, Dina Lowen was recently recognized as a top mom by a charitable group on Mother's Day. And two, it's a Las Vegas nightclub who have decided to present KFED with the award. Federline will host a party at Privé on June 13th, where he'll be recognized for fathering four children, including two with Britney Spears. We really want to know what you think on the latest entertainment news, so now it's the perfect time for you to log on the E2 website and get scaled. On yesterday's poll, we asked what you think of the announcement that Sex and the City's Kristen Davis is launching her own fashion line. 63% of you guys said you'd definitely put up the cash to dress like Charlotte. Here's today's question. Now that Canadian Idol is back, what's your predictions after the first round of auditions? It's going to be the best year ever. You've already picked the winner, or you only watch the auditions for the train wrecks. You tell us, log on to mtv.ca slash e2 and cast your vote.